All right, what's guys from 50 here? So we're going to be talking about how multiple main Easter eggs could actually end up hurting zombies, or World War II zombies specifically. So pretty much, I know I was gone for three days without uploading, and I really wasn't expecting to not make videos for that long, but really, nothing happened. I was really hoping something would, so I mean, yeah, I'm back now. Hopefully, I can upload a little bit more consistently. So yeah, sorry about that, but yeah, let's get into this. So pretty much, as we all know, there's a hardcore Easter egg and a casual Easter egg in the Final Reich. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up and the reason why you guys are probably even wondering why is this even a problem since we don't have anything announced is because if you guys remember about like a week or two ago, I made a video talking about, you know, the possible super easter egg, you know, and just all that kind of stuff. And I just kind of made a speculation video about, you know, a possible super easter egg and pretty much I came to the conclusion that odds are there's probably going to be a casual easter egg and a hardcore easter egg in every single map. Many other people thought that as well on Reddit. I'm pretty sure Glitch and Queen thought that as well. So it's just kind of a thing that even though we don't have it officially confirmed we have a lot of like news and stuff that's kind of like point towards it we've had kind of some information towards it easter eggs towards it stuff like that now the reason this matters and the reason i think it could possibly hurt world war ii zombies is because you don't really get any sense of accomplishment once you beat it because once you beat the hardcore easter egg you're like Oh great, now I have to do the casual one if I want to do all of them. And if you do the casual one, you're like, oh great, I have to do the hardcore one. And you know, it's a hard easter egg, you know, it's called hardcore for a reason. So you just don't really get that sense of accomplishment, and you're just like, great, now I have to do another one. And it's probably not going to be as fun, because you know, the hardcore easter egg is known for being hard. So you know, you're just like, great, now I have to do this one. And if you are someone that doesn't have a lot of people, or you don't know a lot of people that play zombies like myself, it is a very terrible time trying to find people that are actually decent zombies to do easter eggs with. It really is one of the worst experiences you can have, okay? I mean, it's just absolutely terrible. Now, the thing about this is that if we go to, like, Black Ops 3 or Black Ops 2 or Black Ops 1, games like that that only had one main easter egg, once you beat the easter egg, you're like, okay, you know, like, that was pretty cool, I feel pretty accomplished, cool, I got the achievement, and if you did something in Black Ops 3, you might get a calling card or something. I always felt like that was really nice, especially if you did an easter egg that you didn't really like that much. For me, I personally did not really like Dry and Drag. I know a lot of people love it, say it's the best map in Black Ops 3. I didn't like the map, I didn't really like the easter egg. So once I beat the easter egg, I was like, okay, great, I don't have to do this easter egg ever again, even though, you know, it was a pretty cool boss fight and stuff. I just don't really like, like Dry and Drag that much. So, I mean, it was pretty nice I beat it, and I was like, cool, this is amazing. Or if it was like a, something in World War II Zombies, and it's a map I didn't really like and everyone else liked, I'd be like, Great, now I have to deal with everyone saying, did you do the hardcore easter egg and the casual easter egg? I'm like, no, I only did one of them, and that's just, you know, really irritating. And then you're just like, great, now I have to relearn the entire map and do another easter egg. And I just feel like it's very annoying. Now, yeah, it is pretty nice for people that really do like easter eggs, because, yeah, you have, you, you, you know, you have, like, more than one easter egg to hunt for, you have multiple things to do, that's all cool and all. But for people that don't really like easter eggs that much like myself, it's just kind of irritating, you're just like... Great, if I want to get this special item, which there isn't anything now, but there probably will be, you know, like, if you want to get a special item, like, let's say, for example, Takio's Katana. Imagining having to do Revelations Easter Egg once, and then having to do it five more times, you know, that's just really irritating. So I feel like if there's something like that in World of Two Zombies, where it's like, get this amazing Katana that's, you know, a one-hit kill until round 30, but once you complete the first Easter Egg, you have to complete it five more times, that just gets kind of irritating, I feel like. I feel like a lot of you guys can probably relate to that. And I mean, I really hope that they don't do this or they kind of make it a little bit better where it's not required or you don't get an achievement or something. Because a lot of people like myself like going for achievements. I'm a achievement hunter, if you could say that. I really do like going for achievements. I try to go for quite a few achievements in zombies, especially. So it's just kind of irritating once I have to just go through this easter egg that's not really rewarding, except I get an achievement for it, and, you know, it's not really that much fun. So I just find that really irritating. So yeah, I mean, it's not the comments below. What do you think about this? Do you think multiple main easter eggs could hurt zombies or actually help it? So yeah, anyways, I know I might have sounded a little bit different, but I'm just kind of fighting a cold. You know, it's allergy season. And one last thing, I'm probably going to be be making a few Rainbow Six Siege videos probably in like next week or so, maybe even some, you know, just me playing with my friends and stuff, because a new operation just came out, and yeah, it's a 14 gigabyte update, and my internet is probably going to take almost a week to download it, so you know, yeah, that's pretty good, but yeah, expect some Rainbow Six Siege videos or just other videos in general, you know, like the next few weeks or so, so yeah, anyways, so as always, and I'll see you next one, peace.